just remember anytime you modify anything there is risks involved that it may not work properly and uh, you assume all those risks if you do these modifications the first modification that I'm going to address on this video is how I made a uh, throttle stopper and engine stop rod. This will allow me to quickly shut off the engine without having to unscrew the uh, throttle adjustment knob and maneuvering it. All I'm doing here is I'm taking a 332 welding rod. This is going to be to make my uh, throttle uh, engine stop rod. So you can just take a welding rod, hammer, and all I'm doing is chipping the flux off of it. You see how this rod looks like now I've got all the flux off of it, just took a sandpaper, rubbed it down pretty good, it's clean, has no flux on it, and I'll be, I'll be able to bend this and, uh, for what I need it for. I unbolted the tank, slid it over to the side. I went ahead and bolted the bracket back up, that way I can take my rod and get a good measurement. Uh, what I'm going to do is on this end right here that goes into the throttle linkage, I'm going to build a little Z. And whenever I build that Z to put it in here, I'll cut my rod, you know, four or five inches too long, and I'm going to drill a hole in my bracket. And the nice thing is this 332nd rod fits pretty nicely inside one of these holes already without me having to do any other modifications. So I know I should be able to uh, slip it in there and it worked the way I want it. So now I need to put a Z bend in the end of this so it'll operate the lever. Now that I have the uh, Z bend in my rod, I can take my rod, lay it to where the hole will match up. You need to make sure that you measure it from the bend to your hole, the drop down bend. I'm taking my throttle stop wire and mounted it up. This is a uh, three quarter inch bolt and I'm gonna make a finger loop to make it a lot easier to operate. So what I did is I just clamped it in the vise, make sure that my loop's going the correct orientation that I want. And I'm gonna use this uh, bolt to get my uh, radius started. Got it wrapped around a couple times. Now I'm gonna put the uh, wire in a position or the little rod in a position where I can cut the excess off. Here's the shape of the completed shutoff rod. Drill your hole in the tank bracket just a little bit larger than the uh, rod size you've chosen. Insert the completed fuel shutoff rod into the drilled hole in the tank bracket. Insert the shutoff rod Z into the governor arm. Bolt it all back together. Now you should be able to shut your engine off at any throttle setting that you have on your uh, throttle setting knob. The next modification we're gonna go ahead and take care of is a uh, bracket to help stiffen up the uh, air filter housing. Here's a couple of the parts you may have to purchase. A uh, first watch to an eighth inch ID trim plate. I have a link for that in the description. The next item is a uh, Hillman four inch mending plate. We'll be using that to uh, actually attach to the engine itself. Remove the air filter element, and then you'll see two screws on the uh, intake neck. You'll need to take those two Phillips head screws out. This will allow you to uh, unscrew the housing from the neck. You'll need to take your trim plate and use a die grinder or something similar to uh, open up the uh, ID of that trim plate to where it can completely slip over the intake elbow. You'll take one of the uh, four inch mending plates and round the end of it off. That way it can bolt onto the air shroud nice and flat. Once you have that in place, you'll wanna bend this bracket down to where it's just below the top surface of the intake elbow. You'll need to make sure it's at least level and parallel with the uh, top of the elbow as pictured. This is the top view of where that bracket's gonna be at. Use a permanent marker and mark the bracket for trimming off. 
I've also already drilled a hole in the trim plate that matches up with the hole in the mending plate underneath it and that way I can keep things aligned. Using a second mending plate you'll need to bend it to match the uh, air shroud and the trim plate for the uh, second retainer. You can see the uh, location for the second bracket. Thread the main housing back onto the elbow. Once you get it threaded down to where it stops turning, mark the location holes with the pick that line up with the holes in the uh, trim plate and the mending plate. You can see where that was scribed into the plastic on the housing. Just drill those mounting holes out. I drilled out two additional holes in the uh, trim plate. That way I'll have four screws going through the plastic housing and then two of the screws, uh, two of those screws will be part of the bracket. Went ahead and painted it. I used a 3M weather strip adhesive on the housing before I screwed it back onto the neck. Once you have it tightened back down into place, then I went ahead and installed my uh, four number eight screws with washers into the assembly. I used nylon lock nuts and flat washers on the bottom. Tighten everything down. Reattach the uh, two screws that are in the side using your Phillips screwdriver. Put your air filter element back in. Tighten it down and you should be uh, good to use your air filter. Mm -hmm.